ChatGPT5 is here, and it's doing more jobs at once than the busiest person in your office. It can see, hear, talk, code, plan, and connect with your emails all in one place. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how these new features work and how they can save you time without giving you a headache. Feature 1. The first thing you'll notice is that ChatGPT5 is now one single system that handles text, images, voice, and, in some cases, video in the same conversation. Before, if you wanted to switch between describing something in words and showing it a picture, you had to use different models or modes. Now you just stay in the same chat, and it understands all of it without missing a beat. You could be explaining an idea, drop in a diagram, describe a video frame, and then ask for a written summary, and it will treat it as one connected thread. This makes the whole experience smoother because you're not breaking your focus or copying and pasting between tools. Feature two. It's not just the way it handles different types of input that's smarter. ChatGPT5 also knows when to think quickly and when to slow down for deeper reasoning. This is thanks to something called dual brain rooting. In plain terms, it has a fast brain for quick answers and a thinking brain for harder questions, and it switches between them automatically. You don't have to tell it which to use. If you ask something simple like, what time is it in Tokyo, you'll get an instant answer. If you ask it to design a complex project or explain a tricky concept, it will quietly bring in the deeper reasoning mode to give you a more thoughtful response. It even has three different sizes of its brain, called Standard, Mini, and Nano, which it can use for different tasks to balance speed and cost without you even noticing. Feature 3. One of the biggest changes is the amount of information it can handle at once. ChatGPT5 can now process up to 256,000 tokens inside ChatGPT itself, which is roughly equal to over 200 pages of text, and even more through the API for certain uses. This is a huge leap because it means you can feed it entire books, massive reports, or enormous chunks of code, and it will keep track of all of it without forgetting the start of the conversation. For long projects, this is a game changer. If you're analyzing a big document or working with a large code base, you don't have to keep cutting your work into smaller pieces. It can remember the whole picture and keep the details straight. Feature 4 The coding engine has had a serious upgrade too. ChatGPT5 can now build complex software, on-demand, debug errors, and run multi-turn agent-style workflows where it works through several steps automatically. You can describe the type of app or program you want, and it can create it from scratch. If there are errors, it will spot them and fix them. It's not just writing simple scripts anymore. It can manage big, connected projects, handle different programming languages, and produce more accurate results than before. This makes it much more like a real software development partner than just a code suggestion tool. Feature 5 Another improvement that changes the way you interact with it is personalization and memory. ChatGPT5 lets you adjust its style and tone so it can match the kind of interaction you want. Beyond this, it also has long-term memory which means it can remember your preferences, facts you've shared, and goals you've set across different conversations. You don't need to repeat your setup every time you open a chat. It feels more like talking to the same helpful assistant each time, rather than starting over with a blank slate. Feature 6. Voice mode has had a major boost, too. The new voice interaction is more natural, with better pacing, clearer tone, and faster response times. It understands what you're saying more accurately and adapts its replies so they sound less robotic. Some tiers may also get expanded multimodal capabilities that let you discuss what's on your screen or in video snippets. 
For teaching, troubleshooting, or collaborative work, this makes it far more interactive and human-like. Feature 7. Finally, one of the most practical updates is direct integration with Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Contacts. Once you connect them, ChatGPT5 can pull relevant information from your emails, your schedule, and your contact list. If you ask it to help prepare for a meeting, it can check your calendar, see the relevant emails, and pull up details about the people involved. This saves a lot of back and forth and makes it possible for the AI to give you context-aware answers without extra setup each time. So how can these features help you in practice? Let's say you're working on a product launch. You could start by uploading your entire market research report. ChatGPT5 can read the whole thing and summarize the main points. You can then ask it to generate a launch plan, complete with timelines and task lists, while it also checks your calendar to find the best dates for events. If you have design mockups, you can drop them in and talk through them using voice mode. It can give feedback, suggest changes, and even write the code for your landing page. When you email your suppliers, it can draft the messages for you and keep track of replies. All of this happens without you needing to switch between tools or repeat your instructions. Or think about a university student working on a long research paper. They can feed the entire set of notes into ChatGPT5, ask it to organize them, then use voice mode to talk through ideas and refine the structure. The AI remembers their preferred citation style, keeps a consistent tone across sections, and flags gaps in the argument. If a complex data analysis is needed, it can write the code, run it, and explain the results. All the while, it's keeping everything in the same conversation thread, so no context is lost. These changes aren't just technical upgrades, they solve everyday problems. The unified multimodal system removes the barrier between different types of input so you can keep your workflow in one place. Personalization and memory make it feel more like an assistant who knows you rather than a random chatbot. And the direct integrations bring it closer to the center of your daily tools. These updates make ChatGPT 5 not just smarter, but more usable. It's the difference between a tool you have to manage and one that manages itself while helping you. It's also faster to get value from it because you spend less time setting things up or switching between different modes. ChatGPT5 is here, and it's already changing how we work with AI. The next step is figuring out how to make it work best for you. Which of these features have you already tried out or are you thinking of using? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're there.